All right, everybody, welcome back. We are here in Feldcroft. Uh, last time we did the third trial with Neve Fitzgerald, and we got through, well, we got to use the Deathly Hallows, pretty much. So in between parts, I uh, I did the last three assignments for this, what seems to be this whole game. Um, and then I went around the whole bot, well, actually, I, I discovered every flu flame in the whole map. Um, I flew around, got every flu flame, and then did every Merlin trial in this area. Just this area. Did everyone here. See, so yeah, this is where it starts, a new area I missed, and then way up here. So I, I did those between parts, got some stuff out of the way, and now we're carrying on with the... Some of the companion side quests for this part. Uh, we got in the shadow in the shadow of hope. Meet Sebastian and Anna outside Feldcroft. Uh, basis for blackmail. Uh, speak with Natty outside of Hogsmead, and then a su surprise meeting. Meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. We're gonna see how many we can get through in this part, but we're gonna try to get through all of them. Uh, and if if even those don't take very long, we'll maybe do one of these. Uh, the sky is the limit. We have an, a race coming up, or a race that it's available to do. So we can get our third broom upgrade. So let's we'll see how many we can get this done in this part. Let's go meet Anne and Sebastian outside Feldcraft. So I got all my uh, new spells for it. So I got currently equipped. I got Arresto Momentum. Uh, I'm going to put that back to Accio. I got Bombarda in my bottom slot. And then I got Filipendo. In, uh, replacing Accio. I'll probably put that back to Accio, though. Actually, you know what? No. We're gonna keep Bombarda and Filipendo active. Actually, pretty fun, pretty fun spells. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. No, it isn't. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there... I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. I don't like how this... Solomon can't take this Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Yeah, Sebastian. I, I really don't like where this is heading. Sebastian. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Wait, which one? Uh, yeah, this is more complicated than so we thought. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Uh, I Our really biggest don't know it is. Convincing ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Might your uncle report us to the Ministry? Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Okay. Very well, I shall leave it. Leave you to it. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I, I shall let you be, know uh, when the four of us should meet to the to convince Ominous. Look for my owl. I think there's no way he's convincing Ominous soon. without lying. Straight up. Just no way he's gonna get him on board. So let's go meet uh, Natty outside of Hogwarts. A basis for blackmail. It's nice uh, having all the fast travel locations so I can just pick the closest one and fly over. 
I'm getting tired. I was getting tired of all the uh, long treks across the map. Now I have everyone. So if it's not very close to a... Uh, if it's not very close to at least one of them, there's nothing I could do in the first place. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Ooh, getting quick. Okay. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Sure. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. How do you have all their names? I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Um, yeah, where can I find him? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Okay. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Okay. So I can't use my uh, broom in, in Hogsmeade anyways, so it's the closest one. Agabus Filbert, Daisy Rabe, and Otto Dibble. Glad you came. Where's the stairs? I forgot. Uh, oh, right here. Past him. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Daisy Rabe. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Have you given Harlow any information about Gringotts? Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No, I'm worried sick about Isco. But he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Uh, does the note confirm kidnapping? Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Okay, that's this is what Thank I needed. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very Darn well. Right. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Oh, I'm going to take this dude down. Mrs. Ray, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own. But we're beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response uh, by weekend, week's end? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank yep. you. Uh, I hope it's not 
Right. I doubt it. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I feel like one of them at least has been attacked already, like straight up. Glad you came. Dead in their shop or home, I don't know. I feel like at least one of them would be. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check that. Uh, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Otto Dibble. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Uh... Mr. Hill seems a fair man. Can you tell him? I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly and Rosie as well. I think it's better to tell him. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Okay. So we got well, one more. Before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. So we got to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert. Make our way over here. Please don't be attacked already or something. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Oh no, you're safe. Okay, good. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic. What happened to Bickle? He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say here, because I, I want to say you should have spoken out, but not everybody can fight against these guys or has access to ancient magic, which makes me a super genius. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, Perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. That's perhaps. But uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, 
with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Okay. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. So everybody's afraid of talking out. So the things we need to get back are... Uh, Rabe's husband. Uh, the note from... Auto Dibble? And then, what else? The poetry book, plated in gold. Okay. Okay. A couple things to get back from uh, Harlow. But we it's can take like him down. to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Really? Perhaps I'll find her there. Had to walk out, out here just to find that out. Natty better not have been attacked. She's honestly, like, favorite. Natty must be around here somewhere. Oh, gotta go this way. Oh, okay. Right here. If somebody finally took care of the bludgeoner. Excuse me, sir. Just walking through your back room. Not suspicious at all. Where the heck is Natty? Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Um, yeah, f following the footsteps, okay. Back through your back room, not suspicious. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> oh, Dark Wizard. Revelio. Natty must have been taken this way. Okay. I need to find her quickly. Ashwinder hideout. So, did they know she can cast without the wand? Because I would have been casting right the heck away. Room. There must be another way forward. Revelio. Ooh, I need, uh... Accio! The hidden door. Oh, really? Okay, is Revelio. there any treasure around here before I head out? Nope, don't see any. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I don't even think I'm going to bother sneaking through here. I'm just going to go uh, full out, take everybody out. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Really? Oh, so I got some optional objectives too. Nice. Revelio. So we got a note to look for. A uh, love letter. A book of poems, a love letter. What else? And Natty. Just keep an eye out. I hope Rook would never. Revelio. Oh, that didn't work. Expulsion! Bombarda. Expelliarmus. Accio. You little killer! Accio. Stupid. Look. 
Really? Okay, I failed this one so far. Stupid. I didn't even get through the first one yet. Not the best you can do. No, I forget it. Okay. I'm just warming up. Bombarda. Expelliarmus. Expulsor. Accio. Expelliarmus. Bombarder. Okay, one more up here. Let me that kind of worked. Oh, there goes the stealth aspect. There we go. Not, oh yeah, I forgot. There was a couple of infamous foes around the map that you can fight. I fought two of them. Revelio. Alada. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Accio. Bombarda. Oh, the that's the uh, love that was letter taken from Agabus Filbert. You'll be thrilled to have this back. Accio. Levioso. <laughs> Okay, let's loot around here, make Rebellion. sure we got everything. I know. That works. Okay, let me actually loot around here, find these other optional ones. Okay, go in, I guess. Akio. Let me go to Depulso. Depulso. There we go. Yeah. Revelio. There's one on the opposite side. I don't think there's anything there that's worth it, though. So we got a... No. Oh, so we got the poem? Really? The book of poems. Oh, okay, also, there's both of them. Letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Okay, now we gotta find Natty. Revelio. I'm not gonna loot around too much more, because there's more stuff to get, but... Eh. Natty must be here somewhere. Wait, who is this? I thought I saw somebody in this cell. Oh, this is Isco Rabe, okay. Makes more Mr. sense. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. 
You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Okay, detection is already out the it window. Be. It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Yeah, detection has been long gone out the window. Revelio. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Okay. Mr. Rape's wand. Nice. He'll be glad to have this back. Isco Rape. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so that that's what gives the red tints? There's a curse on the cell? Yeah, it must be. Natty, okay, you can, we can give her thank her you, wand Mr. back. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. No problem. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Let's go find uh, Harlow. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Darn right. Let's, uh... Can we please have Harlow come out? I really want to fight him. Revelio. Oh, we gotta go upstairs, don't we? Yep, of course we do. Uh, let me just find the way out of here. Um. Does this lead all the way around? I, I don't think that leads all the way around. How am I getting lost in this small area? That's amazing. Revelio. I can't be getting lost, for real. Okay, is this it? Okay, because if it is, I'm dumb. Yep, okay. I went the right way in the first place, but I got turned around there. Natty's still behind me? There she is, okay. I don't want to leave her still in the Ashwinder hideout. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. I was really hoping to fight him. I wanted to fight him right away. Between, between quests is a good time to identify new gears, sell access to vendors. Okay. And do Merlin trials, I saw that. That's I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. The way she's talking isn't giving me good vibes right now. I've been I've, I've only been wrong once, and that was with Lodgok. So far everybody I say that gives me bad vibes has actually been bad. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. 
In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. That's the problem, you're not doing anything. Yeah, the, the authorities haven't been much help. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Yeah. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay, well, let's see what else we have available. So we also have surprise meeting. Um, we're at the 30 minute park in this video, so I might call it for there. Call it there for this part. Uh, next time we're actually gonna go back to in the shadow of the mountain. Uh, this I actually figured out why I partly why I went over and did all of the um found all the flu locations. Actually, the only ones I don't have are technically still in <laughs> in, uh, in Hogwarts. I think I'm still missing some flus in there. But I went down here because the the waypoint for this is way down here. In this coast. That's where I have to meet Sebastian. So that's why I discovered this whole area. Because I figured we're going to be going down here some more uh, here soon. So just get it out of the way. Well, uh, like I said, this is where we're going to call it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm doing a couple of these videos around the 30 minute mark. We're flying through the game. Ooh, I'm almost level 27. I think we only have, like, main quest missions. What? Oh, five main quests. Main story quests left. And then side side and relationship, we have a crap ton. But I don't know how much more I'm going to do after the main story quest. So we're flying through it. But there's some other games I want to film. So if, if it comes to the ending, uh... I don't know how much more I'm going to do for this game. I kind of want to stick to the... Honestly, for now, I kind of want to stick to the main quest line. Because we're at... Uh, I think this is the 21st part of this series so far. Uh, I've spent... Well, I think game time, I have like 21 hours into this game. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Especially the combat. It's been amazing. But there's also other games to film and play. <laughs> so... Uh, this is where I'm going to call it for this part. Next time we'll carry on with the In the Shadow of the Mountain. The only other uh, side quest I want to do is uh, probably Sebastian. So I can get the Avada Kedavra spell. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.